Luckily for this man, his cruise was about over when he said they received a notice from the Royal Caribbean International Cruise Line about several cases of COVID-19 on its December 11th cruise. He says the cruise line tested them and he's negative, but plans on taking another test just to make sure he's okay. For Ben Deach, his 40th birthday was spent aboard the Symphony of the Seas. And then we got to go to St. Martin, St. Thomas and the Bahamas. To top it off, during his time on the ship, he was able to cheer on the Chiefs twice. We got to watch two Chiefs games in the Aqua Theater and then in Playmakers where we had about 25 to 30 Chiefs fans to watch the game with. But Friday, during the home stretch of the trip, the Royal Caribbean International Cruise Line let guests know of a COVID-19 outbreak. They came out, made the announcement that several passengers and crew got COVID. You know, then I just happened to run into the person that did the testing and found out it was 35 people. Deach shared this email that was sent to all guests on the Symphony of the Seas ship. It reads in part, we were informed by the CDC that a guest who sailed on the December 4th trip tested positive for COVID-19 and their post-cruise test results were confirmed as the Omicron variant. It also says in part, we have a small number of asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic COVID-19 cases on our December 11th cruise. The captain came on, got over the intercom system and he told us exactly what was going on and that people were either, you know, t taken off the ship or they were flown home and they were flown home or they were quarantined. Deach said when he was tested on board, he and his family were negative. But with Christmas just a week away, he'll be testing again just as a precaution. They said in the email to go ahead and test in three to five days. And we already have a we had a backup test that we can do from home. I'm told that in order to even get on the cruise, everyone who is eligible for a vaccine had to get vaccinated. Monica Castro, Fox 4, working for you.